Is it day four? Day four. Day four of our water fast. Mm. This has become my best friend. <laughs> our only friend. Our really. only <laughs> friend. It's a good thing I like water. Like some people don't like water. I was talking to my mom today and she's like, uh, she's like, like her and Gandhi. Apparently Gandhi hated water. He drank milk on his fast. No. Yeah. Not on his fast. He did. Yes. I'm sure we read that. No. Anyway, <laughs> besides the point. Today. Well, yeah, they fasted with like yogurt and milk and goat milk or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Matter. I wasn't there. You weren't there. <laughs> We're checking in. Day four, uh, almost halfway. Uh, t today, today had so many ups and downs again. I was pretty neutral. I was great um, until I got home, and then I just was craving like, oh, eating some food and mm, and the comfort of it, and it just would be would have been so cozy and nice, but. Um, it wasn't gonna happen, and then I got a little like out of possibility with the world. I was like, Mom, it's it's a real mind battle. It's a mind battle between yeah. being comfortable and what's familiar. The brain does not like this. The neural patterns in our b brain do not like this kind of change. But on the flip side of that, um, enduring something like this actually shifts your whole mental faculties. And you are able to embrace um, a lot more things. You're able to be more strong-willed on, like, yeah, a bunch of other things, various things, and make decisions and things like that. So well, there's way more technical ways of saying it. I just said it really terribly. That's but, you okay. Know, like, I'm, it's late. It's My brain late. is foggy. We're a little foggy. I, I've had what? four days with no food. I don't know. To add to that, when people finish fasting, they're more likely to stay eating well because they've established so much discipline. Yes. And the discipline that you get fasting this long, when you come off, there's no way you're reaching for anything bad. Yeah. And and so that's the long-lasting benefits as well, is your whole uh, relationship to food changes dramatically mm -hmm. when you um, are not having it for so long. And apparently that first, like whatever we have first when we're coming off our fast is this like explosion of flavors. Your whole taste buds. Yeah renew in a whole new way um what we're looking things we're looking forward to is basically your vision gets clearer um your eyes obviously brighten up to full white your um sense of smell your instincts like everything gets heightened again as w as we were meant to be yeah. and if we were in nature and not with phones and technology then that would increase even more yes and uh, my nose is definitely strong i i made chicken for oliver with Marsala wine and onions and garlic and I was just like I can smell it right now it's and mushrooms and torture. lemon and <laughs> it's torture but and then we sat here watching him eat it and I'm like Ugh. we're watching Oliver eat it going ah uh. <laughs> but it's here's here's some of the thing that's happening at this point at this far into the fast we're starting to you were reading you were sharing on your Instagram today about stem cells do you want to share about that yeah so so basically after day three we've gone um we are burnt off all our sugars and then hopefully we're going into autoph autophagy um and, and that, we're in deep ketosis now like yeah super deep which bad terrible mouthing i had a tongue scrape scraper today because i was like whoa it's not is, that bad i i was not driving in anyway um uh, so once autophagy, we talked about that, it's like cleansing out your body. So I was saying it's basically getting a full medical and you are the doctor. Like your body is doing it for you and you're just like going through the motions, which is amazing and it's better than what any other doctor could do. Um, so that's what's happening in our bodies right now. And then like day five or six, um, what's, what kicks in is stem cells. And those stem cells, it's like people inject them into their face for youthfulness, for into their womb to, like, if if they want to have um, have a child and they're having problems, um, or they're older, or like knees if they've got bad knees, like whatever. So stem cells is taken from other people and injected into you for a very hefty price, and this is a way of creating it within your body all yourself. And then so like free facelift, ladies, who wouldn't want that? Yeah. I'm looking forward to that part. <laughs> your your skin's looking really f 
lumpy and great. Thank you. Well, Thank you. fasting also promotes blood sugar control by resisting your insulin resistance. So when you come off of this, you're much more resistant. You're, you're reducing your insulin resistance. So when you come off, you're, you have a little bit of carbohydrates. It doesn't spike through the roof and put you into like the diabetic land and have high blood sugar. So mm -hmm. it really balances and controls your blood sugar, which there's a, a study for diabetics, type two diabetics, where fasting and a ketogenic diet can completely cure from diabetes, which completely is cured. my brother's one tiny step away from getting rid of all of his diabetic medicine. And he's been mostly keto and he did for a year and he's dropped a significant amount of weight 40 or 50 pounds he mm. looks fantastic mm. and um, there's centers that do um, fasting like and if you're not very healthy um, highly recommend checking out the centers because they monitor you and they make sure it's fasting safe. centers fasting centers um, this one's in California like they're around if you google them you'll find them but um, they've been known to cure people of diabetes to cure people of cancers of arthritis of hypertension like a lot of, of like this it's incredible what's possible but if you're not in peak health definitely don't just do it alone like no, do it or do you could try it one day but you yeah do it one not, day and then medical. move up to a three day but yeah if, anything over that you need medical you supervision need, if you're not healthy yeah if you're healthy if you're not on medication you could go, go after it. it so here's a few more benefits and then we'll let you go when we're gonna go to sleep uh, reduces inflammation, fasting does, and I've noticed that in my body, my knees and my back, everything. He's no longer in pain. Which is a miracle. Which is amazing, he's been in a bit of pain lately. Um, he keeps running around pretending he's 15, like his son, and it doesn't always work out for him. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not 15. Um, but I'm excited about reducing inflammation, and so much pain is just inflammation. Heart health by improving your blood pressure uh, triglycerides and cholesterol levels, which is really good news for people with genetic heart issues in your family. Really great for your heart. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, brain function by preventing neurodegeneration, neurodegenerative disorders. It is nighttime. Neurodegenerative. I know a lot. My dad passed from Say ALS. Say that times really fast. Neurodegenerative disorders. disorders. Neurodegenerative Neuro disorders. disorders. Neurodegenerative <laughs> disorders. There's a lot of syllables. And um, so that this, it can improve your brain function and um, all kinds of nervous systems. <laughs> um, also increases your growth hormone by up to 1300%, which is radical and growth hormones do so many cool things we will get into that in another video because like what they ignite in your body is kind of amazing yeah. and you really want them on your side yeah for defying and yeah. delaying aging and extending building muscle they do yeah but delay keep aging. You young. The, That's what we want, human right? growth hormone keeps you young and keeps your muscles firing and, mm. and um so this is the fountain of youth if you've been looking Bingo, you just discovered it. And they've been doing it for thousands of years. Thousands. This isn't new. It's just coming back into fashion like like crazy right now. Um, because they, they, they have the way to test it. They have the ability to test it. And the science behind this is just incredible. I'm sure they've tested it before, but it's been squashed by pharmaceutical part, um, companies or things like that because nobody makes money. So that's why it's not mainstream. If you're questioning why, that's why. Well, the tests have gotten better now. Yeah. They're I'm able sure to that, they're really able to, to get but it's just like the electric car got like squashed. smashed up like a million times and yeah. threatened and stuff and so that the gas companies could make money. So we are living in an interesting world. That's yeah. Get curious, people. Get curious. Yeah, and question everything. And like mm -hmm. this may not be for everyone. We're just sharing our journey. We're not medical medical professionals in case you haven't noticed um, but he does play one on tv i'm not a doctor but i do play one on tv <laughs> yes um and we've been fascinated with this journey for a long long time this is our uh, we've done other fasts this is definitely our longest fast and we're halfway through i am down more than 10 pounds about 11 pounds a lot of it is water 
Uh, well, that's not true. The I first the night, inflammation, I don't know. inflammation, yeah, and fat. I'm looking pretty lean, um, which is fun. I, I started this. Um, anyway, that's another conversation. We're at ten minutes. We're gonna say goodbye. As you can tell, we need sleep. I need sleep. I got went to bed at midnight. Got up at six fifteen. Um, through most of the day, though, uh, was feeling pretty. I was feeling great today. Today was a good day. I I think the hunger pangs just come came when he started cooking. And that I had carbonated water today, Perrier, which was don't do that. It was a bad. Idea. Yeah. It was a brick in my stomach. It felt like I thought a little Perrier would be a nice treat. Made me feel like I was sinking. Like, mm -hmm. really, still feel it. It was over an hour ago, so I'm not sure carbonated water is so good for you. I don't think so. I never have. <laughs> um, okay, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Please comment below and subscribe. Um, and get curious about your health and everyone's body is a little bit different so the more you know the more you know yeah and tune in <laughs> to you right you don't think yeah tune into what feels right to you and like play with this stuff you can do a one day fast and just see my mom just did one uh she had two day fast and she felt fantastic she's yeah. 79 like she just went for it so you know it's it's available to everyone it's just how how you tune into yourself and go, yeah, I think I can do this and mm -hmm. it might be good for me. Yes, and consult your doctor if you're unhealthy or if you're older um, because the body does go through some biological shifts, that is for sure. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay, goodbye. On that note. Day four. Mwah, mwah. Bye. Cha, cha, cha.